<laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I like wearing the color red a lot, but honestly, wearing red is saying, did I wear red three days in a row? I think I did. It felt like it was three days in a row. Well, anyway, take a little break from that and break out some black. Back in black. Okay, you gotta stop now. I don't want to continue any songs. I want to get straight. So, my low, my high, my act of kindness. Um, I don't know. I guess my low is the fact that... Because here's the thing. Yesterday, I pretty much spent my high watching, like, the NFL Top 100. And I saw a lot of great things. But here's my low. Because, obviously, next week, they're doing, like, a two-hour finale for, like, the Top 10. For the life of me, I can't think of what the top 10 is going to be. Well, I have an idea. Because you're going to have... I mean, Tom Brady is obviously going to be in there. Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, TJ Watt, Aaron Donald, uh, Devontae Adams, D-Hop, Travis Kelsey. I can't think of the 10th guy is going to be. I can't think of anyone who really was that much of a standout player. I mean, maybe Drew Brees. Um, I mean, pretty much everyone who was in the top 10 a year ago has been talked about with the exceptions of, again, Aaron Donald and Patrick Mahomes. I already mentioned them. Uh... Hmm. Man, I don't know. Did Gronk do anything? Well, he had two touchdowns in the Super Bowl. That's, that's something. Uh. Did Chandler Jones do anything? Man, I. I don't know, bro. This is. This is hard to figure out. Like, really hard to figure out. I. T.Y. Hilton, maybe? No. Yeah, seriously, I cannot figure out who's going to be in the top 10. Like, like who's who's the 10th guy? I mean, I think I just named, like, the vast majority of them. I just can't think of the last one. Anyway, that's pretty much my low. I already talked about my high. And my act of kindness was before I left home from Cuco Lake. You know, my father and I, you know, cleaned up a little bit. Honestly, it was a pretty uneventful weekend, but a fun one. I mean, is there a tag underneath here? Oh. Oh, it's a sticker. I just realized there's like a little stick underneath this chair. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. See, it just like fell off. Like, See? <laughs> I, I'll rip off the sticker later. How long has that thing been there? Weird. Anyway. Good morning, and happy Monday, everybody. The fact I'm here means there is a new manga chapter today in One Piece. Yes, we've waited two weeks for this. Let's see what we got. Ah, gotta reach down low. Okay, let's see. Let me uh, look up some stuff for a moment. Um, all right, so, is my collar off? Man, I am like, man, weird things just happening today so far. Anyway, um, okay. One Piece Chapter 1022, The Stars Take the Stage. Okay, from that title alone, I have an idea of what's going to happen, but I'm going to save it for the end. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. It looks like we have a bit of a narration from the narrator. Talking about the overall progress of the raid, okay? Okay, this is actually really important. Like, literally the second panel of this chapter is like all the spots where the members of the Toby Robo fell. 
And the reason why it's important is because I will be honest, I had no idea where is where in anywhere in Omegashima. This raid has been so crazy, I really could not tell you where anything is happening. Anyway, let's see. Um, okay, I need to is filling above Wano. And... Well, good news, ladies and gentlemen. The stakes of the Ark Calamity have officially been raised. If you guys remember, I talked about how an Ark Calamity is essentially something bad happens, and if it does happen, it reaches apocalyptic levels of bad. And Onigashima floating in the air, yeah, that's your Ark Calamity. It's clearly going to crash into the flower capital. And now the stakes have been raised because there's a time limit. There's now 15 minutes until Onigashima reaches the flower capital of Wano. Which is 5 minutes longer than Dress Rose's climax and significantly shorter than Whole Cake Islands. Eh, yeah, One Piece fans will get that joke. Okay, so looks like Raizo is fighting Korazumi. Or oh, fighting uh, Fukurukuju, excuse me. Okay. Alright. Uh huh. <laughs> I like Raizo, but I will, but anyone can say he's kind of not a very good ninja. But it's definitely fun to watch him in action. Okay. Hmm. And you know what? I really like this talk about the fact that the vassals are essentially ghosts of the past. Even though they're all essentially alive. Kind of. I actually don't know who's alive anymore. I mean... That's not to say I haven't been paying attention. I mean, this is One Piece. Death is kind of like its own running gag here at this point. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, looks like we have progress between Killer and Basil Hawkins. All right. Mm hmm. Okay, if I remember correctly, Basil Hawkins' power is he becomes a, the straw straw fruit. Basically, if you try and kill him, he has like a little straw doll, and that essentially kills somebody else instead of him. And it looks like a straw doll he has belongs to Killer's Captain Kid. Okay, now the circumstances have gotten very grim. You know, that reminds me, earlier in the arc, back when Kaido first captured Luffy and Law was trying to save him, Basil Hawkins shot Law with a Sea Prism Stone bullet, commenting how Sea Prism Stone was originally manufactured on Wano. It would be a very fitting way for Hawkins' power to deactivate in that way, if they somehow got like Sea Prism Stone to subdue Basil Hawkins' power, therefore he has no hold over Kid's life, and then Killer can go for the win. At least that's a thought. It'd be a fitting idea. Maybe. Have to see about that later. Okay. Looks like we're back in the main performance hall. And King and Queen are mad. Okay. That is not good. That is not good at all. And Marco is knocked out. I mean, he's fighting two commanders. What do you expect? So it looks like Sanji has to take care of Zoro all his own. I mean, they gave Zoro the drug, but can't really rush these sorts of things. I mean, seriously, prior to Zoro taking the drug, 
Literally all of his bones were broken. Well, at least that's what Law commented on. I mean, it's Zoro, I believe that. Who am I kidding? Let's see. Uh huh. Looks like Sanji's gonna have to take care of things. Mm hmm. Oh, good. Parasparo. I'm just waiting for Parasparo to reveal the fact he lied about the straw hat stealing Big Mom's wedding cake and then Big Mom showing up and killing him. That's literally the only reason why he's here. That has to be the only reason why he's here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to be upset if I'm wrong about that. But come on. Barrow is the kind of guy where like, you just want him to just get his butt whooped. And that's exactly what would happen. Oh, that's what's happening here, thanks to uh, Nakamamushi. Very nice. Okay. Ooh. That has to hurt. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Looks like the minks are trying to take care of Zoro. And King shows up right in front of him. Oh, good. Marco's back. Oh. Okay, looks like we actually have an idea of what King's race is. So, apparently, there is a race that lives above the top of the Red Wall. A race of people who could burst into flames. And you know what? That actually kind of makes sense. Because for those of you who don't know, the Red Wall is like one... It's a bit, It's essentially like the equator of One Piece. Like, it is the only legit continent in the world of One Piece. And outside of that one city that the Celestial Dragons live on, like, no one lives up there. So it's not really that unheard of for a race of people a powerful race of people who could, who, again, Marco just commented, could burst into flames that could live up there. Okay. All right. Oh, no. You know what? Yep. Okay. Best panel of the chapter. Best panel of the chapter. Last page. Here we go. And it makes sense. See, lots of people are kind of okay with the idea that Marco and Sanji are going to be fighting King and Queen respectively. But literally, Marco is tapping out because he has nothing left. He literally says, let the stars take the stage. Zoro's back in action. Zoro and Sanji knock out King and Queen. We have Zoro and Sanji versus King and Queen. Let's do this. And you know what? This is literally Marco saying, okay, listen... My time is done. It's time for the new generation to take over. Because think about it. Let's say that the raid goes wild and it's Marco and Sanji versus King and Queen. The world is going to be like, oh, Marco the Phoenix was there. They couldn't lose and Sanji was just there. Here, we have the Straw Hat's two best fighters, Luffy with Sanji, like taking on the top commanders of the Beast Pirates. This is incredible, but not as incredible as this final line, where like Zoro and Sanji, and here's the thing, Zoro and, one of the biggest running gags of the series is that Zoro and Sanji really don't like each other. I mean, they respect each other enough to be in the crew, obviously, but you get the idea. They're literally both like, dude, if we pull this raid off and we win, Luffy is totally going to become King of the Pirates. <laughs> I can't make this up, man. I'm literally reading it right here. Like, dude. This is awesome. Not to mention, again, this is literally the final page has the best, like, spread ever. And I also did not know that the human body can curl like that. Seriously, like... Take a look at the final panel. I had no idea that, like, it was like Sanji, like, Sanji, like, Sanji, actually, hold on, I gotta put this down so you can visually see this. 
Like, San like, let's say my arms are Sanji's legs. Like, like, Sanji's one leg is, like, down there. But his other leg is, like, curled like this, kind of. Imagine that there's no, like, imagine it's, like, a smooth line. No, no joint right there. Like, it is awesome. So, yeah. You know, Robin did say that Zoro and Sanji were essentially the wings of the Pirate King. The wings have sprung, I guess. I don't know, this was a great chapter. And I am in awe of what I just read. I honestly can't wait to see what happens next week. But we have to wait until then. Like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button, follow me on social cloud, turn on YouTube. I am very home music video for all of you guys who are watching. Enjoy for you. We have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Sometimes I forget the day of the week. I'm sorry. Everybody, because I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to be here to let you know. Take care and make good choices. See ya.